sure this is shared. Um, whenever you're ready, are you ready, Dr. Sadiq? So uh, we can start. I am ready. I am ready. If you're okay. ready, yes, right. uh, you want to put your VR headset on and tell me if it's loose or tight or however you want it to be adjusted. Yeah, Mackenzie. Now we start. Um, let's do because you're yeah, the book yeah, probably wasn't a good idea today. Oh, okay. Let's figure it out. Do you want to keep holding it? Yeah, I mean, I can hold it. Because it's going to fall off, and I don't want to mess your hair up. No, it's fine. Okay, okay. it's fine. Okay. Can you okay. see the screen? Yes. Perfectly fine? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can get started whenever. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Mackenzie Tatum. Um, I'm at Leadership Initiative, and today I'm just going to be talking to you, figure out what's wrong and um, how I can help. So can you tell me like your name, your age, and um, what you do day to day in your day to day life? Um, I think the, um, the patient in front of you is a 34 year old farmer. His name is Jimmy Ali. Can you get that? Wait, can you repeat the first part? He's a 34 year old farmer. Okay. 34 year old farmer. His name is Dini Ali. Okay. Dini Ali. He presented yeah. the complaint of um, two days history of fever, severe headache, and abdominal pain with loss of appetite. Got it. So, has there been. Yeah. Did you get the symptoms? You said um, severe headache, abdominal pain. Um, fever has the fever, fever and loss of appetite. Yes, the fever has been on and off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, has there been like any nausea or, or vomiting? Yes, nausea and you vomited twice. Okay. What about um like diarrhea? I have one episode of diarrhea. Um, like when did this, like how, how long have you been, been feeling like this? Sorry? How long, like, has his symptoms been, um, like, lasting? All right, everything started three days ago. Three days. Three okay. days. Does he, um, when he's on the farm, like, does he farm near any, um, like, bodies of water? Or, like, does he go get water a lot? He farms near body of water. Okay. Um, does he wear? He wears. Does he wear like a short sleeve clothing or like a lot of like long sleeve clothing? He doesn't use protective clothing. Okay. Um, has he like um, noticed any like bug bites on his skin or like mosquito bites? Uh, considering the endemic nature of uh, mosquitoes and malaria. It's, le it's very likely that he has been bitten by mosquitoes. Okay. Um, have you been like feeling um, body weakness or like like you feel like like your legs are swelling? Has that um, been happening? Uh, there's no body swelling. However, he has weakness. Body weakness. Okay. Um. I am going to do a test, um, a rapid diagnostic test and a blood um, smear for malaria. Okay, you have a rapid diagnostic test here, which shows positive for malaria, and the blood smear shows two pluses of malaria. Plus, plus. Okay, um, what kind of food have uh, has he been eating, or like what kind of food does he eat? His diet is mainly tropical, corn, um, rice, and grains. Does um does his do you know if like the food he eats gets washed or like if he just like eats it? But he doesn't really wash it. I mean, he says occasionally he, he adds vegetables and fruits to his diet. He doesn't wash them properly. Okay. Um. So I'm. I'm also going to test for um, anemia because 
washing um the food the food not being washed may cause a, a mild case of anemia so i'm going to test for that as well all right so in the hemoglobin concentration as given here um, 11 grams per deciliter okay 11 so, grams per deciliter Okay, so um, you don't have um, anemia, which is which is good, but I think you just you just have malaria, and it's um, uncomplicated, and it can be treated with an ACT, um, and um, it can be treated with an ACT and antibiotics. So just to prevent this from happening um, again. You could wear longer clothing when you're farming, and even though it might be an inconvenience, it just will prevent you from getting malaria at hand. Or using bug spray or like um, mosquito net when you're going to bed. And that's very correct. Thank you very much for helping me diagnose and treat my patient today. You're welcome. You've done very well. Thank that's you. That's quite impressive. All right, so do have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye.